South Dallas on edge this morning after an outbreak of violence in the area. There have been four shootings since Sunday night. At least three people have died, including a two-year-old girl. Now, all of them are within a two-mile radius just east of Fair Park. Right now, no indication that these are all connected, but Dallas police do say that they have arrested at least one suspect. This morning, one of the young victims is sharing her experience after being grazed by a bullet while sleeping. Megan Mitchell joins us live from Dallas PD with more. So, Megan, it's been a really tough few days. Yeah, it's shooting after shooting, Kara, and people in southeast Dallas are scared and they're angry. These are innocent children caught in the crossfire, and now one of them is speaking out and talked with us, an 11-year-old that was shot on Monday. So this happened Monday evening, and police tell us that 11-year-old Deanna Ote was asleep in her room when she heard gunshots and felt a stinging. Her pain? from a bullet fragment that pierced through the fifth grader's bedroom window, just missing her spine. Police say the gunfire erupted from a shootout between her family's next door neighbor and someone else outside. But, I mean, this wasn't the first time this happened in this apartment building. The day before, her downstairs neighbor was shot and killed. You know, Ote obviously is still processing what happened, but she just wants to go back to school. Ote's mother is begging for the violence to stop. One of them said I'll be able to like recover like a week and I'll be able to go back. Like I do step and I'm in like this history ball. They need to stop with all this shooting and stuff, just sense senseless, just trying to shoot every everybody and stuff. Like it's just unfair because if my baby would have got killed last night, I would have went to jail and hell. Now, shooter, uh, the shooter in this case has not been caught, but Dallas Police's gang unit was actually out at that complex investigating. They say if you have any information, please contact Dallas Police. Kara, back to you. Okay, Megan, so we talk about, you know, shooting after shooting this week. What's the department have to say about the crime rate overall? You know, Chief Eddie Garcia says that overall in the city of Dallas, crime is actually down 12 percent, Kara. But in specifically southeast Dallas, this time last year, it's actually down again in that neighborhood, 4 percent. Back to you. All right. Thanks for the insight, Megan. So there is an effort underway to do some good in that community. Yesterday, Dallas ISD opened a new youth and family center. Now, the TD Marshall Center is filling a void for families around South Oak Cliff. It'll provide physical health resources along with mental health services so families can start booking appointments right now. We mentioned those shootings just blocks away from Fair Park. Dallas police say they are considering that while they work on their security plans for the upcoming state fair. It kicks off on Friday. Now this year, a new high-tech security system will be greeting fairgoers as they walk through the gates. You can see some of it there. That's in addition to Dallas police officers, both uniformed and in plain clothes, who will be wandering the park and stationed in some of its busiest areas. Another big change this year, kids under the age of 17 have to be accompanied by an adult after 5 p.m. Now, this comes after a group of teenagers caused quite a big panic last year about a hoax shooting and as social media trends encourage bad behavior in public. This is just a policy we're putting in place. It's not to leave anybody out. We want everybody to be able to come and enjoy the fair, but it's just another measure we put in place to help create that safe environment out here at nights at the fair. Dallas police will not say how many officers they'll have stationed at Fair Park, though they say it will vary from day to day.